Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this lovely morning? Oh my God, it's almost the end of the month and time is flying. That's why I do not play with your life. Honey, you are more important here than anybody. Do not play with your life because time is moving. First of all, thank you, Lord, for allowing us all to be here this morning. And I want to say, um, uh, I want to say uh, to Nicole, Nicole, how are you, Nicole? And um, I want to say uh, thank you for, thank you, Nicole, for the um, honey. This is so cute. Thank you for the honey, and she is she purify her honey, as I can see. And this is Nicole that does the um the cards, right? And this is her uh, tea, lemongrass, ginger. All right, Nicole, look at that. And Nicole, like I said, she makes. The tarot, and this is another set of tarot she sent me. Sweet Justice Tarot. Honey, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. I feel like I need to send these to um, Familiar Witches Tarot so that she can um, love your cards like I do. And um, she's going to use these because I'm going to send them to her. All right? Familiar Witches Tarot, you're about to receive Nicole's cards. So, use them and promote them. Thank you, Nicole. Now, um, uh, to, uh, Deborah Cruz that uh, specializes in um, in the Twin Flames. You know, she's been on my YouTube many times. She is having a master class. Um, for men in a master class for women August the 13th and it's going to be virtual so if y'all don't know who Deborah is this is Deborah all right and she's the one that does um if you've been following me for a long time um she's the one that does the twin flame okay beyond betrayal honey y'all know honey this is a class of a twin flame beyond betrayal so she has books out and all, and she's a Pisces. So if you want to get um, into looking into one of our classes, um, and this she got the men's class and the women's class, um, master class for men and master class for women, beyond betrayal. So if anybody's interested, I will I already post it up on TikTok. I was half sleep doing it, but I did it. So today I will be posting it up on Facebook and my Instagram, and I will be talking about Deborah um, Cruz, and she's been with me since I started my YouTube, and she's also um, has um, her own uh, uh, professor professional. Um, she is a psych. Um, uh, and I mean a real doctor psych, a shrink, okay, if I should say, does that sound right? There you go, a shrink. And um, if y'all mental health or all this stuff, you know, she deals with lawyers and regular people and doctors and big, you know, this is what she do for a living. So I always tell y'all sometimes that um, you two can't help some people with their um, mental things that, I'm serious that um, they watch tarot, but some people, I mean, I know I help a lot of people, but some people, uh, it's beyond helping. So if you need to see a professional help, Deborah Cruz does this for a living, okay? And um, she does it virtual, however they do it, but she does it. So if anybody needs that kind of real um, help, then get with Deborah, honey, because that's what she do for a living. If your insurance cover um, mental health, you know, talking to a shrink, then Deborah's the person to deal with. All right? She's a Pisces, so 
and she is the funniest ever, all right? She is from D.C., and now she lives in Beverly Hills, all right? Damn, did I tell all her business? I didn't mean to say all your business, Deborah, but she's pretty huge at what she does, all right? So, um, if anybody go onto my web and um, purchase any one of my items, my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, my Prosperity Abundant Healing candle, my um, Love Yourself candle, and y'all already know how I get down with the justice. I'm big on the justice, all right? If you want my um, Palo Santo and my Sage, this is the Walnut Bath, which is good to work with your um, dark side and your shadow side. My oils come in everything, every kind that you could possibly think. Um, also have it in dry form. My jewelry that I have on and what I make, check it out. I took a lot of the jewelry out because it takes a lot of time to make some bracelets. And I mean a lot of time. And I'm not talking about these braids. I'm talking about the ones that are metal, all right? These are my crystals, all right? This is my spiritual detox salt bath. I know a lot of y'all order that. Make sure you leave comments on what, what does it do, how does it make you feel. I got herbs in the bag, and you can use all my products even if you don't have a tub, all right? Um, This is my... um. This is my uh, red brick dust, okay? And see, I'm uh, starting to try to find out what's my gig and how do I want to do it. And it tells you everything about it, okay? Put it on your doorway. Um, uh, no, this is for nothing to bring you harm. Uh, may cross over the um, dust, okay? This is what happens when people cross over the dust. And I'm trying to tell you something. If you don't understand what this red does do, try it. Put it on your front door. If you don't have a, part, uh, a house, you can put it around your whole house, which I do. Or you can put it around your front door, uh, insides of your door. And I'm trying to tell you, I always put it in front of my bedroom door so none of these energies come bother me when I am sleeping. I put it right in front of my bed, too. I don't play these games. I got time for that. All right? Now, if anybody is interested, in it, this is the, not the only deck of cards Nicole makes, all right? But it's the deck of cards she sent me, and I'll tell you no lie, I'm in love with a deck of cards. And it's cheap. It's not expensive. Like some of them cards are $75. This is cheap, and it's a good, good, good quality of card. I mean, everything about the card is quality. So if anybody wants to use... um. Um, Nicole's deck of car, get with us. She got an Etsy account. Y'all need to get with her because she, oh, she's on TikTok. She's on, um, on TikTok. She's on there, and I'm trying to get her whole information. And she did send it to me. I promise to give you all her information this afternoon's reading. Okay, I'm gonna be advertising her. I'm trying to get her page to on my YouTube so that y'all can see it. And y'all know where to order. Her cards are very easy for you to read. And if you want to get into reading tarot or learning tarot on your own, her cards are perfect for you to learn. They easy. They tell you everything on them. So that's the best cards to start learning from, okay? All right. So, Nicole, I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you a million. Um... And if anybody watch familiar with your tell, tell I'll send them my love. Because it's kind of hard for me to really watch um, my favorite tarot cards. Because I'm doing a lot of things right now. But I'm never too busy to do my own readings. And what I'm doing. My YouTube come before anybody or anything. Alright? So, and I'm drinking my tea. Alright, so let's get going. Uh, what well, in school is getting ready to open up, so get your shit together, start buying your kids um uniform or whatever it is now. Don't wait till the last minute and then be all oh my god, I'm stressing. No, no, get the baby shit now while you can, and that's how I do. I've been started my Christmas shopping for Jay Short, all right. Been, been done that, 
Christmas is damn over for J. Shaw. All right, I already done my Christmas shopping. Yes, I did. All right, so let's get popping. All right, thank you for all the people that had got reading yesterday and for all the people that I got with. All right, um, if I have people calling me and asking me what I'm doing, readings, all right? What do you think I'm doing, honey? I'm working. I don't work a nine to five job. I don't work. Put 15, uh, uh, 16 hours in. I work from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. That's what I'm doing, working, okay? I don't have no days off. I'm constantly working. And let me tell you something. I work with any Pisces that need my help. And I don't mean no bullshit ass help. Um, Lisa, what you doing? No, not, not that kind of help. The kind of help what you really need me. All right? And I'm just saying that because some Pisces, out there be tripping. And I mean tripping. All right? If, if you know, I'm here for, for your help. Whatever you're going through, I am here. But, um... I don't know. I don't see in Twitter with my fingers and my toes, okay? Scratch my ass. I ain't got time for that. Okay, it says, at last, they don't want you to give up now. They want, oh, uh, when, when you're coming this far, okay, they don't want you to give up now when you're coming this far. Um, it says, um, because it will be all worth it at the end, okay? So they don't want you to give up when you come this far because it's going to be worth it at the end. It got a man kissing a woman under, what is this, an apple tree or some shit? What is it? So it looks like it's a peach tree and it got a, um, it got a rainbow, um, um, a rainbow, uh, what you call it? Uh, oh my God. Kite, right? So, there's a man and a woman here kissing, and they don't want you to give up. Even though it's cloudy and all of that, they don't want you to give up. Um, Pisces, I'm going to say something, and I don't have nothing against no, nobody's sexuality or whatever. But a rainbow to me means totally different than what they made the rainbow to be today. All right? Is, is a whole different meaning. And it's always been a meaning to me way before they started putting a rainbow over, um, you know, what you choose to be in your life and your sexuality. The rainbow to me means different than the rainbow to them. And I don't have nothing against nobody. But when I'm telling you the rainbow means different to me than it means to whoever choose to be on their sexuality. And I feel like... Um, it's, everything is just so blown out of proportion these days. All right? You, you got to be careful what you say and how you say it. But I'm just saying what I say, and I mean what I say. And I say what I say. Okay? The rainbow to me is different than what it would mean to someone that um, loves the same sex and all that. I, it's totally different, and I have nothing against nothing of that. But the rainbow to me is the rainbow. Okay? To me. It don't mean the rainbow of the same people loving each other. It ain't to me. It's not that. All right? All right? It don't mean that to me. But it may mean that to everybody else. No. Okay? When it when 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 it rains, look for the rainbow. When it's dark, look for the stars. All right? Hope, love and all of that. Okay, now, I, like I said, do not leave no crazy freaking comments to me about how I feel about the rainbow. Don't do it, because I would delete your little ass. I don't give a fuck. And I and I say what I want to say. Okay, and that's some real shit. Lisa Rainbow, strictly, dickly, that's all she is. And the rainbow to me don't mean what it means to you. And I don't want to take nobody offense, but that's what it means to me. I don't care what it means to you. I don't care. And I don't care what the world sees it like. The rainbow is the rainbow. Before you started naming the rainbow to be what you want it to be, it's always been when it's the skies on top, okay, it's full of different people, different hopes, and that's what it means. And what you believe in it 
and what you title it in your life, or people want to title it as this is what it is today, to me, it's what it always been since I was a child. All right? I mean, it's crazy because if you have a kite or you wear a rainbow, they automatically think that you, you know, you, you're a lesbian or you're gay or you this and you that. And I am strictly dickly. Ain't nothing different about it. It ain't nothing me like in the same sex. No, it's not. All right? A rainbow, I, I can't wear a rainbow. And it's really sad. All right, the world done took over and people get all crazy and vicious about what they believe in. Whatever it is, whatever. Now, like I said, don't leave me no fucking ass comments because your ass be blocked and deleted. I don't even give a damn about your, um, what you want to say to me. Um, your comments don't even matter. Say it and I will delete you. If you tell me that you want to tell me all because of what you feel about a rainbow. If you act crazy with me, you will be deleted today. Will be your last day watching Pisces Studio. Like I said, I'm strictly dickly. And I don't mean to offend anybody, but that's what I say. And that's who the fuck my pussy is, okay? Now, did you get that? A good. Moving on. Power couple. They are, uh, they seem that both. They seem, they see that, they see that both. Of you have a equality is change of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. The power couple um, can be the emperor and the empress. That's um, the first lady and um, the president. And I do say the first lady first before the president. Okay? So if you're one of these people that... Is you know, it's saying don't give up in your relationship because you are a power couple and they cannot stop you. If you are in, in a relationship with somebody that you love or whatever it is, I don't know. And that, I hope that don't mean somebody that ain't worth being with. All right? I'm just throwing the cards and reading them. I have no control on what's coming out of these cards. All right? Now, let's move on. The next card says, losing the battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your ops, your um opposite of who you are, right? Don't downgrade yourself. Play at the level, not theirs. Play at your own level and not theirs. Because when you try to play against somebody else's level, you will lose. All right, then you will be walking under them, not them walking over you. A lot of Pisces lose themselves because 99%, 99% of Pisces are caretakers. And what I mean by that is we were people that we take care of and we consider them our husband and we consider them our boyfriends. Or we consider them somebody we fuck on the side. They don't bring shit to the table but chaos in your life. And then you downgrade yourself because you think you got the one and only one. No, they trying to mold you to be who they want to be. And if you don't stand strong enough to them, then you're going to see that you're going to fail at that relationship too. You must be who you are and not let nobody, nobody. Make you feel like you under them when you're doing everything. I mean, I know a lot of people, a lot of relationships where they working their ass off for these men. And then the man be like, well, I'll take everything you got. And then like you owe them something. You don't owe them shit. And that's, that is why I, Lisa Ramos, do not get married. Because I would never allow somebody to tell me what, I'm, what they're going to take from me. Okay? It ain't going to happen. Or they feel like I owe them something. Or they want to be bitches where you taking care of them. And I mean financially. They want you to be the one that the judge say you owe them something. All right. That's how these people work. And they're trying to get you any kind of way they want. And it's a lot of men bitches out here in the world that um, sit here and want a woman to take care of them. 99% of Pisces are with 
men they want them to take care of them. Their money is their money, Pisces money is their money, and Pisces buying everything, paying, and all they gotta do is pay one bill, and they think they doing something. And if you do got somebody that takes care of you, baby, you are working under their feet. Even if you don't um take care of them, they still want to control you. You so damn lost in your own world, you don't know what the hell. It's like you got to feed somebody or you got to have a titty in their mouth or you got to. It's like they want to walk you on a dog leech and then they want to train you and then they want to use you and they want to abuse you. And you never see the light with these people. Okay. Some of y'all scared to leave a person because y'all never been on your own. Or y'all scared because they telling y'all that y'all going to wind up, when y'all go to court, it, that you're going to wind up taking care of them. Uh, honey, Pisces, um, move on and do what you need to do. Don't let nobody stop you. Do not make excuses for these grown-ass men. Do not make excuses because they want to take care of you here and there. Oh, oh, and you think they're doing something big. <clears throat> And for those Pisces that got these men that you can be who you want to be and you ain't got to live with them or you live with them and you still, you don't sleep with them, but you being take care of, baby girl, i give y'all a high five on that one, honey. Because, um, uh-uh, don't let nobody ever play with y'all Pisces. Y'all should be doing way better than that. Way better than that. All right? I don't know why y'all, uh, a lot of Pisces got it twisted and had these men shit. Be, 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 be. And I and I don't know why I said um the um the rainbows and shit like that because a lot of these people are closet, you know, liking the same sex, but they married to you and watching pornography with two two of the same kind. Or I mean, whatever it is, Pisces, you will never know because these men or whatever they honey they go both ways. Okay, they want to have they cake and eat it too. So. Be careful and be wide awake. All right. If you can't satisfy a man, no matter what, or they want you to do stuff, you better check them out, honey, because they might have sugar in their tank. Or they might look like peanut butter behind their behind. You better check their tank, honey, because it ain't full of gas. It's full of other, you know, peanut butter and sugar. Justice will be served and everything will be balanced. All right. Justice will be served and everything will be balanced. All right? And it's really sad because you never know, Pisces. I'm trying to tell y'all. When you're working and you don't pay no attention to what is around you, you don't know what the hell somebody's doing. All right? Moving out, break away. Moving out and breaking away and justice will be served. So somebody's taking somebody to court or it means that you are moving Moving to another place, moving out of apartment, moving out of a house, and it's, everything's going to work out, all right? Do not be afraid to move away from where it stops serving you, and if you think that somebody loves you and they want to start acting crazy with you, well, you need to think about it, because love don't work like that. Love is not mistreating you, verbally abusing you, and not helping you, okay? That's not love. All right? That is not love. I, they better not say love to me. Because love to me is a big word. And they don't throw love around with me. Because if you don't do um, respect, loyal, take care of me, then it ain't no fucking love. Not at all. Okay? And that's the way you need to do it. You see that I didn't say a heart. I, you see that I didn't say there's love in it. No. If you can't do that, it ain't no damn love. Remember, a honeymoon don't last forever. A honeymoon lasts for when they want to get you, how they want to get you, tame your ass. Okay? That's how that works. Now, decision to be made. You better make that decision. You better be wise about what you want to do. Do not let people change your mind. Especially if you know a lot about how they are. All right? You can't change people. A lot of people, they go out here and, oh, we break up. Then the next thing you know, the man is back living with them. And then 
Oh, it's going to be hard as fuck for you to get them bitches out. All right? They multiply, honey. They multiply because they come in the house with different attitudes, different personality. And who are you today? Who are you? Juan, uh, Jose, um, Pedro. Um, who are you? Because you're coming in with all kinds of different energies and all kinds of attitudes. Who are you today? All right? The Wheel of Fortune, ever, ever, uh, and it came out with making a decision. The Wheel of Fortune, ever uh, elevating of money, okay, oversee trips and completion. So do not control the wheel and move on. The major decision is, and some people work all the time like me and never take time for themselves, never take trips. And I'm not going to say that I, it's me not taking a trip. And take, oh, no. I work hard, I play hard. I always take time for myself. Whether I'm educating myself, moving on, um, elevating myself, or literally taking a trip. Please stop saying you can't afford to take a trip. That means you can't afford anything for yourself, but you're doing it for everybody else. Whether it's your kids, your man, your sidekick, whatever it is, you do it well for them, you, you need to do it for yourself. Okay? You get into a relationship, you lose who you are, you don't know who you are, and it's it's awful the way you turn out. And but then you sit there, but they say they love me. Anybody that comes back to me is not love. That ain't love to me. No, that ain't because if it was love, love is not an ex. Okay? Love is and if it is an ex, you better go see um Deborah Cruz. Go see Deborah Cruz, a real freaking sight. Somebody that can help you with your brains and tighten your screws up. And go to her and tell her all the problems you done had from a child to whatever to come back to me and be an ex to me because you got serious issues. All right? A serious issue. And Pisces, if you're trying to fix a person that got serious issue, no, sweetie. It ain't no fixing. All right? Tell me more about the justice. Libra's in the house, all right? Um, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius in the house. Um, Gemini Libra Aquarius in the house. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune, which it is um, uh, Aries or Sagittarius. Now, for the justice, you got the highest priest. The highest priest is you see things for what it is, and you are floating Pisces, it's about to be a full moon. Things will be definitely, you're going to be seeing, and the moon is right in the middle. All right? So, you're floating, but you got a mask on, so that means you ain't revealing anything that you know. And it's telling you to follow your intuitions. And it's looking at something that you're going through that's showing in your past. All right? Whatever it is, it's like dealing with situation from your past. All right? Pisces, learn the word love. All right? Love is a beautiful thing. It's not painful. It's not lying. It's not cheating. It's not being, not somebody that don't, it's not balancing you. All right? Love is serious, honey. And if people say they love you, you need to know what love really means. Do you know this person's whole life? Do you know their family? Or they let you come to their house? Or they let you be part of their kids? Whatever it is, Pisces, learn the word love. If it don't fit your scenario, it don't fit your life, you can't fit the shoes, the clothes are too tight, and love is, then it's not for you. You Learn the word love. Love has been misused and abused. All right? And you see things and you need to follow your intuitions. And everything you see, it is the truth. Don't let nobody talk you out of what you know about them. Whether they got sugar in their tank or they freaking crazy or they lazy or they don't want to help you or they seeing other people or they abusing you mentally with their verbal mouth. Let me tell you something. That is not love. And if they talk to you like that or embarrass you like that, then baby, 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 you keep looking for that one because they look good and all this shit and they ain't got a pot of piss and nowhere to throw it, but they look good and you like it. You go, oh, And I've been with them 
it, honey, and it gave you diseases and all, but you still chase. What? Some people are sick. And it's crazy because I go on TikTok and, I mean, not TikTok, on my Instagram, and I be seeing Pisces with the same man that you've been getting readers about. The same man. I'm like, what the hell? I said, okay. You damn sure ain't living like you think you are. You ain't going to tell me that I'm lying. You ain't living it like that, honey. Okay? That's for sure. Some men are crazy. And they like putting their hands on you. Tearing up your shit. All right? Men are crazy. Especially when they B-I-T-C-H's. Because a real man don't act like that. All right? Now, move on or break away. All right? Move on or break away. All right? And this can be the card 13, or it can be um, the um, the six of swords, all right? Or it can really be the, um, uh, it can also be the, um, the eight of swords, too. Because these are um, Nicole's cards, all right? Now... Then you got the hermit under that. You're looking at everything for what it is. And you're going through the journey. You're going through your where you've been at. You're, you're looking to find, you know, yourself. And you're going through this journey alone. And that's that's so important for you to know. You're not taking nobody when you die. And it's important for you to know. You need to find your own way. And it may be scary because it's calling going through the dark night of the soul, searching. But when you get done searching for who you really are and what you want, because it's not, it's not what you want, it's who you are. Because once you change who you are, then you get who you want because you're going to have a different way of thinking. If y'all look at my videos the way it is now and the way I used to be, okay, I mean, I come a long, long way. I wouldn't have never been where I'm at today if I wouldn't have been doing readings for you. And I won't be doing these general readings and these um, private readings and all this. And I won't be having talks with y'all about what y'all going through because I thought, oh my God, nobody else can be going through this shit that I'm going through. But we all go through it, Pisces. And when I started going into, working into my dark night of the soul is when I started understanding what it really means to go into hermit mode. Okay. And Pisces, we are good for going there. If somebody takes us where we don't want to be with them or they hurt us, we go into hermit modes. And we can go really dark in ourselves. All right. To the point that we don't want to get up or we don't want to do nothing. All right. It's when you feel like it ain't no, no way out. All right. Or you constantly crying and you just... Oh my God, you you like real depressed. But then you you get up one day and you start saying, I know I can do good. I can do so much better. And you start looking within yourself. It's don't be the kind of person that says, Oh, well, we ain't together and I'm crying and boo-hoo, and now I'm ready to go partying, hanging out, having a good time, or seeing someone else to get out of this depressing status that I'm in. No, it's called working with yourself. It don't call replacing a situation with another situation. It's called working within yourself. Okay, that's why I do it. Because that's what me. Uh uh, get over here. Get Lulu. Lulu, look. Come here, Lulu. No. Lulu. Come here, Lulu. Lulu, come here. If she walk out of there, she's going to get pow pow. Come here, Lulu. Come here. Is this girl think I'm playing with her? Come here. Wait a minute, y'all. Oh, she's coming. I will tear your little ass up. All right? You don't run out the door because he's running out the door. I'm the boss. You're not the damn boss. Sit your ass down over here. Go let out. Go let out, Jojo. Um... Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't play. 
<laughs> yes, I don't. And that's what I treat. Every, don't play with me. I'm not the one. I'm, I'm not L-O-V-E. I learned the lesson. L-O-V-E. Okay? I don't use the love, and I don't play like that. All right? And I don't care who it is or what it is in my life. Everything is straightforward. It ain't no narrow going here, there. Straightforward. All right? And so, when you are the hermit, you go searching for yourself. And it ain't searching for the answer. It ain't searching for, oh, what is going on and I'm dying over here without this person and my life is going chaotic. No, it's saying I need to search for who I am. And I need to know who I am. And when you find who you are, you connect with your body, mind, and soul. And that's what you need to do. Because you connect to what you want, body, mind, and soul. You give your soul to the devil. You sell your soul to these people that you think they love you. And you get lost. Okay, so, no. Find yourself because you know so much about what's going on. But you're trying to not see it. And you're trying to keep it to yourself. And you need to follow your intuitions about a matter that is not serving you. It's a legal matter. Justice got to be served. You want to move on to where you're going to feel good and you're going to be happy. All right? Because it's all about loving yourself. It's not about loving someone else. But you can't tell a Pisces that because Pisces live with how they need to be loved or they, they don't know how it is. You barely find Pisces that... um work on themselves and don't worry about seeing someone else and that is me I, I don't think about it I don't live it I'm not out there in social media looking for I don't do dating I don't go on website looking for nothing I don't do none of that I try and I do and I'm telling you this I've been working hard not looking at what it was because I know what it was, they never want a commitment. So how the fuck am I going to look at somebody that never wanted to commit? And told me in my face. So I done accepted it and moved on. So with this decision making and the will of fortune, elevating of your money, overseas trips, or completion. All right, not trying to control it. Is when you get the four of source. And the four of source is saying to you, listen. If you just stop worrying about issues and all your problems that are not going away, okay, that will not go away because you got to face it. If you stop doing that and you start saying, I'm going to get some rest, I'm going to calm down, I'm not going to get all worked up, and I'm going to get a lot, a lot of rest. That means maybe you want to take a trip, maybe you go to the spa, maybe you read a book, maybe you're taking a salt bath what, or, or taking a walk. Or whatever it is that you do. Or treat yourself to the movie. Or buy yourself something. Whatever it is that you need to do. Right? When you do that, you get to think. You get to see things clear for what it is. Because somebody got a wall up. And they not even. They wall is so high, honey. You know, they not even worrying about it. Because they're getting a rest. You need to get your rest to make this decision. Now, you got all, all here. You got two majors. And this is major. Whatever's going on in your life right now is major. So you see things for what it is. You're the highest priest. You pick yourself. You're not saying on. You're keeping your secret to yourself. You are the biggest keeper secret in the world. Okay? You know so much, but you don't say shit. All right? Um... I don't tell, I don't reveal what I'm doing in my life because I don't trust people like that. All right. And so then you go into the hermit mode where you're looking from high below at everything you've ever been through. And it's teaching you a lesson to go and find yourself, body, mind, and soul. Learn to meditate. Learn to, even if it's in the dark that you're going through this dark shadow of the soul. All right. It's saying that at the end of the light. God is going to be there to guide you because you finally made it to you to loving yourself and putting yourself first, right? And it's trying to tell you, God is saying, why do you keep looking back at the devil? It's black as fuck back there. Why do you want to go back there and look at nothing but darkness? That's what happens when you want to go back to something that you know is dark as fuck and it keeps you all up in your head. 
All right? But then you think about it. Okay, I need to make a major decision here. And I know once I make it, it's going to be so beautiful for me because I learned to love myself more than anything. I can see clear. I can see, I can see clearly now the rain is going. Okay? Yes, you see clear because the rain is going. And guess what? The what? The rainbow shines. It's hope. All right? The rainbow shine. And I'm telling you, the clouds might be coming, but that rainbow is coming out. And everything you ever wanted at the end of the rainbow is a pot of gold. That's why the rainbow to me means a lot. It's not a sexuality thing to me. It's, it means a lot in the spiritual world. And you better get it through your head. And before you make anything coming to me, you better know who you're talking to. Because I don't give a flying fuck. You don't tell me what to do and what to think. I don't know nothing about you. And I don't know what you do and who you are. But I know who I am. And I know what I believe in. When you get done playing games with yourself, and knowing your worth. Then the clouds will move on. And you will see the sun. And the rainbow. And at the end of the rainbow. It's that part of you. You only got one life to live. And you know how to live. And if you don't know. You better learn. Because if you don't learn it. And you keep looking at the devil. And what keeps you in your darkest moments. Because you think somebody loves you. Or they want to mold you and you're making excuses for these people. And I'm so sick of Pisces making excuses. They love me, but I can give them a job. Because that's the best thing you thought you ever fucking had. You wrong. The best thing you will ever have is your soul. It's yourself. And some people just don't know what self means and self-love means. You always got to get somebody to love you. Anybody that's in there... Root going in, in a spiritual world and then meet people that you put your spiritual world on the side, then guess what? You're going to, you never was, you never was going in your spirituality. You used God when you was in your darkest moments. You never was dedicating your life to God or yourself because you sold yourself to the devil. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand that I had I had people that I had a man that I slept with that was in my life for a long time. I had people, my son's uncles, my son's uncle told me I was a witch. The person I was with told me I put my YouTube in front of it and my readings and all. That's who I am. I had to break loose from that shit because I never in my life they can't never say I stopped doing my readings for them or I stopped writing God's letter or I woke up to meditate they can't never say that about me because I never put what I believe in in front of them ever and that's why we not together okay and that's why I had to set people cut people off out of my life Call me what the fuck you want, but call me Miss Bitch Witch. All right? I don't play with God. And you got a lot of people here that when they're down and on their knees, they want to pray to God. They want to light candles. They want to do rituals. and But then they turn around and the, the, the person come back and then they don't they forgot who they were until they realize that, oh shit, shit ain't changing. Or you meet somebody just like the one you was in your past, but the only thing, you meet in the devil and they're giving you sugar. Shit that you ain't never had. And then you make excuse because, oh, they different. No, they're not different. They set your ass up. You can't worship too. You can't worship God and the devil. You can't love yourself and then act like you're going to love them more because that's what you do. You love them more than you love yourself. And you would do anything for them. Anything. All right? Oh, I'm going to make sure I take care of them. I'm going to give them the pussy. I'm going to treat them like a, like a man. I'm going to do everything for them. Well, let's see how much they do for you. Do you did you meet their family? Do you know their family? Do they take you out? Do they treat... 
Are you being seen with them? Do they like to embarrass you? Do they like to humiliate you? All right? Do they put their hands on you? Do they talk to you verbally like you ain't shit? Are they trying to control you? You think about it. Because that's what happens when you put God on the side. And then you meditate and you write letters and you use God till you can use them. And then you think, I'm going to use God now, now Now that I'm doing good. I'm just going to move on with this man. Oh no, the devil is right there. And then you come back to God and then you're praising him and said, oh please help me, help me, help me. I don't do that. I go straight forward. I'm like a damn horse with a fucking... Um, but they put them things on their side where they don't look. No, I go straight forward. I never put nobody over God. Ever. All right? And what I believe in is what I believe in. And that's it and that's all. All right? God comes before me. God comes before anything in my life. All right? And I learn a lot. Let me tell you, I learn a lot from people. From people. And I'm talking about Pisces. People that I thought they care about me, I learned so much. All right? And that's why I don't play anymore. All right? They say, oh, don't put me in the same character as this person. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't know who the hell you think you are. Who do you think you are to tell me don't, don't put you in the same character as everybody else? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Don't put you in the same character as everybody else. You got to be kidding me. Don't put you. Well, now you know. Don't play with me. All right? I don't, I, I, I put that, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. You know how you, you get, because I, I always, I've been a waitress all my life. So I'm going to say something to you before I retire. I used to always look at people like this. I would put $10 on the table. And the way the waitress treated me, I would take a dollar off or whatever. All right? And that's how I felt like they were worth. All right? That's it. That's the way it is. I'm not going to give you no power to go from the door. And, oh, you're different than everybody else and you are the same. I don't play them games. All right? Y'all need to understand, Pisces. You're going through a transformation here that says you need to go within yourself and love yourself and find yourself. Because can't nobody show you the way out. You got to find it on your own. All right? And when you get tired of trying to figure something out and you say, I'm going to get some rest and put it in God's hand, it'll work out. It'll work out for you. For you. Do you understand what for you means? All right? Get it right. All right? And stop, and you need to look at people, just like I said, they're not no different than the next person. They're not. Because sooner or later, they're going to show you their true colors. And that's the thing about me. People say, but why are you so hard? And why are you so cold? And why this and that? Why? Because I've been there and done that. And I don't let nobody play with me. All right? You can't sweet talk me and think you can do this and do that. And I'm going to fall for you. No, boo-boo. No, 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 no. Because a rainbow to me don't mean what it means to you. Okay? All right? God to me, the universe may not mean the same thing it means to you. Because I don't back down from the universe. Okay? I don't play with God. To the day I die, I will serve him. And at my lowest, I'm never at my lowest. Because God always, always... Always shows up. Always. All right. You got the highest priest. And what for the highest priest, you got the two of cups. A perfect partnership. All right. So make up your mind. And I'm going to say it again. Before you think about loving anybody, learn yourself. Love, learn and love yourself. And put yourself first. Now, the two of cups can be, it could be a working partner. It could be a friend. It could be taking it to another level. It could be coming into um, partners, working with other people at the table, toasting, right? The perfect 
partnership. All right. And it looks to me like it's really business and it's somebody that you can really claim. All right. It to a cup doesn't just mean love or you marry or this and that. It means that whether it's a friend, whether you get to know somebody, meeting somebody, um, working with somebody, opening a business with somebody, or it can be someone taking it to another level with you. You figure it out. But remember, it showed the highest priest on top of that. You got many secrets that you ain't talking about, and you know a lot. Remember that, all right? And then you got the musician on top of the hermit. And this is major because you got a lot of major cards here. The musician on top of the hermit, okay? Now, you got all the tools to make things work, but you're breaking free from something, all right? You're moving on. You're finding who you are. You're doing that inner work. At the end of the tunnel, at the end of you doing all the work on yourself, you will see the light. And when you see the light, look at this. And when you see the light, right? It's on the tip of your fingers. You can do anything you want with it. You got the lantern at your hands. And look how it goes. Then after you get the lantern in your hand, look how you got it on your fingertip. And you can have anything you want. And you can, because you're working with all four, all four, honey, tools. All right? It's right in your hand. Don't let nobody keep you in the dark. Always wondering, guessing. All right? You know, keeping you, when they want you to keep looking back. When you don't see nothing in the dark. All right? All right? Be smarter than that. You got a lot of good things coming to you. All right? That lantern will be the lantern right on your fingertips. And you can do anything you want with that, with that magic that you have. As above, so below. Okay? And it's important that you know that you may be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay. Um, you got the hermit. Um, okay. Gemini or Virgo. And then you got the musician Virgo or Gemini. And then you got, um, head Pisces. And then you got, um, Capricorn, a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But here it's all major. You in your feelings and in your thoughts over this decision. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more. The page of coins recognizing the opportunity. When you lay down and you stop trying to figure things out and you got to make a decision and you stop trying to control a situation, that is when you start, doors will open up, okay? And look at that rainbow, honey. I'm trying to tell you. All right, it's showing up right in front of you. Just telling you, you can take off when you're ready to make the right decision. All right, things will open up for you and you will do way better than what you're doing right now. Do not stress over matter because everything is going to work out fine for you. All right, um, remember that. All right. Let's find out some more here. Pisces, you 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 got everything on your fingertip. You just got to know how to stand up on your own and, you know, love yourself. And, and everything is going to be working for you. Doors will open up, all right? And I mean doors will open up, major doors. You may be meeting a new partner that want to go into business with you. You may uh, meet a new person in your life. But doors will open up because you got it in your fingertip to make anything you want happen. But make sure you're doing it um, for the good of you, for yourself, before anybody else. All right? Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Tell me more about it because you're toasting to something new. All right? The sun. You're not the sun, honey, here. Do you see? It's the highest priest, the sun. All right, the Leo. Like, something here is going to work out for you. And big time, big time, you got the rainbow and the sun. What did I say? The sun will come out, the rainbow will be shining, and at the end of the, the rainbow, there's a pot of gold 
that is waiting for you. But how are you going to get it? You need to do some work within yourself. And do not play with God. Don't tell me you learning down to meditate and you praying, oh, I'm going to read the Bible. No, no, it's more than just reading the Bible. The Bible ain't got nothing to do with your real personal, personal relationship with God. Church don't have nothing to do with it. Meditation, no, this is very serious. Okay? And so with this musician, you get the towel moment. And it can also mean that somebody is leaving the house, moving away. All right? It don't show that the tree is falling apart. It means that you got a stage, you got a platform here, but something here is not good for you. And you got to get rid of it or you got to move away from it. Okay? In order for you to gain it all. All right? Some people... Um, you know, they're going through, um, separation, divorce, um, going to court. You did get the justice card. Um, and they think they're doing you wrong or they're going to leave you stranded and, or they feel like you need to pay them alimony or whatever it is. But it's going to be so sweet, honey. This tower moment is going to be good because somebody's getting lit by light, honey. The universe is coming towards their ass spices. All right? Somebody think that they're doing some magic on your ass? No, baby. The universe is watching them. All right? And then you got the lovers. And this is saying a major decision. Do not force it. Let it go. Because you're tied up with somebody. And it's like they're looking at you face to face. But this may be a Gemini. And this person may be involved with other people. All right? Or you may be the third party. Or you may have found out they got other somebody and they with you. Remember, nothing should stop your show. All right. And somebody here, you got the sun. Somebody here is facing that tower moment where somebody's going to leave, want a divorce, whatever it is. But it's a sweet one because you're going to get away from what is not no longer serving you. You don't need to be guessing, second guessing, wondering, but you tied up with somebody. Because they do this for me, and they do that for me, and they're different, and this seems like it's the best thing I've ever had. Or, oh, honey, yeah, these people can be crazy, all right? Obsess. Obsess is the word. Um, stalkers. Um, seeing other people with this, whatever they call their little rainbows. I don't know. Might have a lot of sugar in their tank, and you don't even know it, all right? But you need to see what, how things is moving along and see how people are. You know, and stop being like, that's the best thing that ever happened. The best thing that ever happened to me was God. Okay? It ain't a human being. All right? I don't put humans over my spirituality. All right? And that's some real shit. And anybody knows me know that. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. Um, when I do my praying and when I do what I got to do in the morning, I don't see nobody but me and God. It ain't nobody around me but me and God. Okay? So, you need to know how you operated and how you use, okay, God in your life. How do you use God in your life? Are you taking advantage of God because you're praying for something that you want? Do you only do things for, for God when, when it's convenient for you? Because God is a forgiving God, but remember, He ain't stupid. He created you. He know when you're going to leave this world. And you're going to leave it alone. Okay? You go, you ain't going to leave it with these, whatever you got going on. I'm not going to take this house. Matter of fact, this house will probably be sold. And everything in it, including my altar, being a trash. What? Oh, yes, it will be. So I can't worship material things or somebody that, that I feel like I'm going to sell my soul to the devil because of a material thing. I'm going to sell my soul to the devil when they didn't want to commit. I'm going to get pregnant by somebody and do God, all kinds of dumb shit. Because now I got them. No, you are in hell for the rest of your life as long as you have a child about this crazy ass shit. All right? Or you're embedding yourself in a situation because you think it's the best thing that you ever had. And you ain't getting nothing but the disease and problem. Some of y'all got real fucking had to go to doctors for these stupid ass people. And... And some of y'all are still with the same people. All right, give me some more disease. Give me AIDS. 
give me chlamydia, give me STDs, and I'ma still love you. But remember, you gave me a disease. What the fuck? All right? Call me a liar because I know who you are. That's how they be. But you, honey, all I got to say is be careful, all right? And don't play with God. Don't use God like he's a damn toy or a puppet, all right? If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. And I'm going to say it again. Leave some crazy-ass comments down there, and I'm going to block your ass. Leave some crazy comments on there, and I will block you. And I'm not playing. All right? Don't play with me. I'm not your baby. I'm not your uh, friend that you they're playing games with you. I'm keeping 100% real with you. And if you don't like it, then that's your business. Go find somebody else to watch. Okay? I'm not putting a knife and a gun to your throat to say, stay here. All right? Do you damn understand that? Because if you don't, you know what I'm going to do to you. Okay? You got that? Okay. All right, Pisces. I'll talk to you later. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else because I don't hate. And it's your decision to get it from whoever you want. You ain't got to do shit with me, but watch me. And if you don't want to watch me, then the door's there. All right? Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>